So I got a Mega Touch Aura, um, I think it's an 08 model, and it's super loud. It has the ASUS board, um, and I'm going to try to swap out it with the Intel board. I think it's called Little Falls to see if this fan design makes it quieter. I had tried previously replacing the um, original ASUS fan with a brand new one, and it still wasn't quieter. So I'm going to swap it out and show you how we do it and go from there. So first thing we need to do to uh, take this apart is we'll just open it up. And we'll take out this um, coin acceptor. I had previously taken out the dollar bill acceptor. Um, so underneath here, there is a latch that you basically flip this down. So I flipped that little thing there down. And then you just twist this. And that clasp should come loose. And then... Um, I think I need to twist it a little bit more. There you go. So see how that clasp came down? And then we'll just unscrew this here, this thumb screw. I'm gonna take my hand off here for a minute and come right back. I'm just gonna unscrew that, and then we're gonna slide it straight up. Okay, so I have that unscrewed now. So I'm gonna lift that straight up. We gotta be careful because there's a green cable over here um, connecting these. So I'm just gonna disconnect that right there. All right, so next we're just gonna unscrew this thumb screw. I already loosened it. And there's a tray here that's gonna slide straight out. So we just pull this back gently. And then the motherboard comes out here. Um, just be careful, this power supply is actually um, on a hinge. So you don't want that to fall down on you. So I'm gonna pull this out and to the left a little bit with the camera off and then I'll uh, come back. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, take this power supply, just unplug that. I took a bunch of pictures before this, just in case I needed to put it back together. I've actually never replaced this before. I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna fold that back, just so I have some more room, and then I'm gonna start unplugging all these um, cords here so that we can put them into the new motherboard. Okay, so I have disconnected all the cables um, I have some painter's tape on there with some labels. I just basically looked at the letters that were here, like USB 5.6, and I wrote that on the cable that came out, and the USB 7.8, and so on, just in case I need to put it back together so I know what those are. Um, and then I'm just going to basically remove these screws that are here to take this motherboard off of the plate here. Okay, so I have removed a total of six screws in my situation. And then the motherboard just lifted right up. And now I'm going to place the new one um, on these standoffs here, probably on these first four, I'm assuming. I'll double check. So let's do that now. Okay, so in my situation, I'm running into a slight issue where the uh, Molex connector here is interfering uh, with this nut that's holding this fan on. Now, I did add a gasket here, um, which is like a sound dampening gasket previously that may have given it a little bit extra thickness. Um, I'm not positive. I'm going to remove that and I'll figure out. I'm not sure what I'll do just yet. I might even just drill a little um, hole here to make it go through there, put it somewhere else. I'm, I'm just going to remove it for the moment and see if the board all fits in. Okay, so with that nut removed, it's fitting. I mean, it's tight, but it's, uh, it's fitting right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, screw these remaining four screws in. And we'll start assembly. Okay, so for plugging these back in, um, when I did this on when I removed this from the old board, um, these four pins here were not used. It was plugged into this side. And so if you look carefully, there's a number one here. So I'm gonna match that up over here with a number one to start it off. So I'm gonna plug this in um, with number one starting there. Till it clicks um, and then likewise there is there's this other the four pin connector this looks like a splitter for my fans and that was going into this um, four pin connector here so let's plug that there and then I'm just gonna take the VGA and plug it into the VGA here I'm gonna take the USB plug it in here and then there's an audio laying around here, somewhere here that's gonna go in this green one. 
and get those all plugged in. Okay, so I'm trying to wire this back up. It's a little confusing on um, where these connectors go, these types of connectors. I had labeled these before when I before I unplugged them as USB 5.6 is where it came unplugged. And then there's another one here, um, which is another USB. And effectively, I looked at the manual online um, and found that this M and L that you see are both for USB, which are these two. Um, and you can Google the model number here. It's, you can see it's over here, LD945, et cetera. But effectively, there's a, um, there's a blank pin. You can see where it's missing a pin. Um, and that, you're just going to line these up. You can see how it's got a spot that's blocked out. So you're just going to line that up with the blocked out one going there and plug your two USBs into these. Okay, so this last cable, I was trying to figure out um, how what these were for. Um, I'm going to end up not connecting any of this. Uh, I looked at the pinouts on the manual for this old motherboard, um, which is this K8N VMS. And so when we look at that, this is um, the, the two cables that are connected. You can see how that not all of them are filled up. There's just two cables in this left connector. That's the power and the reset. And then um, I think this other one here is for the IDE. I'm not 100%. Um, but anyways, they're not necessary because we don't use the power or reset. There's no power reset button on these devices. There's just a power switch. So I'm just going to leave that unplugged. I don't need that at all. And I'm going to go ahead and slide this back in so we can just take... Um, Line this up. There's like a there's some guides in there, just the same when we took it out. There's some little rails that these catch in. It's a little hard one-handed here. I'm gonna set the phone down. All right, so now I've got it lined up there on those rails. I'm just gonna guide it in real carefully, make sure my no cables are pinching here. I think this power needs to go down just a smidge. Same here, I've got some power cables in there. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna set this down. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing of pushing it in, but our goal is to get this um, this tray slid in and then there's a little um, line I'll show you in a minute where this needs to line up with. Okay, so when sliding this in, just make sure that your cables here are cleared. I had this VGA cable that was in front of this connector. Um, and then make sure that nothing's obstructing this area up here so that your cable, this this little fin is gonna guide into this. So you wanna make sure that's not um, obstructing. And you may even need to pull this back a bit because this has to clear the, the dollar bill thing here and it might be leaning up in front of it. Okay, so I got it all pushed in there. See how this, there's a line right here. That has to align with the center of this nut that helps you know where you can for that thumb screw where it needs to go down in and just when you're pushing in make sure that you're pressing on these spots that say press here so you don't damage anything obviously you don't want to push on these connectors or other things like that um, and now what we're going to do is just make sure all these cables are tucked up in here and we're going to put this case back on first we're going to connect this connector for the i think that's for the light i don't even know what that's for maybe the lights are something but it doesn't matter we're gonna connect that and then we're gonna slide this down onto here you'll kind of guide these fins here there's like a little tab on each side that gets get guided down in there um, and then we'll use that thumb screw and this latch up top to get it back in okay so I got everything back together here I'm just gonna turn it on um, I actually turned it on a minute ago while it was all opened up just to test that everything was working. And it it like turned on, you could see the BIOS kind of start up and then it like, it said failed for some hardware um, detection and it rebooted automatically. So it, you could tell it like figured out that I had a new heart or a new uh, motherboard and then it did a restart, um, I think twice. Um, and then everything worked after that. The, it's much quieter. That's what I was trying to accomplish was make it quieter. Uh, I mean, there's still a fan noise, but it's not nearly as loud as the old fan was. So mission accomplished there. I might even swap out those case fans for something 
a little with a little lower decibel rating from digi key or something but um so it's all working and if you're looking to make it quieter i would recommend getting that intel falls board if you just search ebay for like mega touch um or uh, intel motherboard you'll find it so hopefully this was helpful thanks Bye.